Evening YouTube. It's Cave Dweller 1959. You watch my last video. I was down on a shooting range blasting up some leftover stuff. Uh, 4570 I had loaded up. Uh, just so I can start reloading for this season. I'm going to show you something today I do about every third, maybe if I'm lazy, every fourth loading on my brass. Uh, you've been out buying stuff. If you're a reloader, you've been out buying brass of any chamber. Don't make any difference. You found out just how ridiculously expensive this stuff is getting. Uh, a lot of stuff, you get two, three, four loadings out of it. What happens? You crack the neck. Some of them, the non-super non high-pressured stuff, you can get six, eight, nine. You might get ten, but eventually the, the uh, necking it down to size, shoving a bullet into it, shooting in your gun, blowing it out, necking it down, blowing it out. It's work hardening. You're making the brass very brittle. Eventually, it cracks the necks. What do you do about it? I'm going to show you right here. It's called annealing. You can take that very brittle brass and you're going to soften it. Uh, a piece of brass, if you keep annealing it every third, fourth time, you're going to keep that piece of brass. Uh, I kid you not, you'll get 20, 30 reloadings out of it, maybe even more. I'm going to set that camera over here. I'm going to show you how it's done. It's very simple, very cheap, easy to do. Let me move the camera. Okay, here we are. We're ready to rumble. Uh, this is what you're going to need right there. You can buy these things already put together, already made, just for this purpose. Or, you can do like me, uh, I'm not going to buy something for 30 40 bucks that I can build for less than 5 It's a deep well socket, spark plug socket, whatever you want to call it. Drop a bolt in it, put a nut on there, there you go. goes in your drill. That's the purpose of that bad boy right there. Uh, 5 eighths inch fits the 4570. Everything else, the 473s, uh, 30 odd 6, 270, the, all the stuff that comes off the 308 and 6 bolt face, half inch works great. Uh, we're going to do the 4570. Uh, by the way, all that brass you walk by when you're on the range, it has a purpose. Take it home because you can practice. Right here, I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to fire it up. When this stuff turns, you're going to get it hot. You're not going to get it red hot. If it turns red, you ruined your brass. Sorry, you ruined it. Throw the shit in the garbage can. Throw the stuff in the garbage can. I didn't say that. Brass, when it gets hot, the temperature we're dealing with, I don't know if this is going to show, but it's going to turn a gray, a blue. It's going to turn colors before it turns red. At that point, water. You're going to throw it right in this bucket of water. Get it hot. You do this with steel, what it does, makes it brittle. You can crack it with brass, it softens it. We can work it, work it, work it. It's not going to fail on you. I don't know if you can see. Oh, okay, I'm not picking that one up. Never mind. See that color right there? That's what you're looking for, right in that bucket of water. You just annealed a perfectly good piece of brass. You extended the lifespan on it. How many times? I couldn't tell you. Do not get it red. That's your bad deal right there. Drop her in the water. I do this about every third, every fourth time. Depends on how lazy I am. Sometimes I can be pretty lazy, but the money you pay for brass nowadays, it does not pay to be lazy. If you're doing a lot of it, your socket gets hot, there's no problem. Put it right in the water, cool that sucker down. You want to keep that bugger where uh, you don't want it hot. I don't know if you can see that. I really hope you can. Should just get a little bit of a sizzle. It hits that water, it should cool really fast. There are jigs you can buy to do this commercially. They're not exactly cheap. Depends how much shooting you do. I don't do that much. Uh, it's simple to do. It's uh, fast, cheap, easy. Uh, things I kind of like on my loading bench. Uh, something. Uh, some people I think that would really 
I have not read it, and it may be out there, I don't know. Long range shooting is really getting to be popular today. Uh, they pay a lot of money for some brass. Your 50 cal, your 338 Lapuas, uh, even 6.5 Creedmoor. None of this stuff is cheap. 308, none of it's cheap. Uh, something that's really important. If you want to start shooting incredible ranges, ask one of those people that really get into it. One of the very, very, very most important parts that first thousandth of a second during launch. How much grip does that casing have on the bullet? If you never anneal brass, it goes from soft to hard. At what point are you in a box of 50 or a box of 100 rounds you got as you're destroying it because you don't anneal it? Anneal it every second, every third turn. It's got this almost, almost the same grip. It's got the same release every time. That's annealing brass. It's really simple, really easy, and you pay big dividends. Thanks a lot, YouTube. You heard it in the cave.